good morning friends today we will start our class with the day's thought of may 17th this i and mine causes the whole misery with the sense of possession comes selfishness and selfishness brings on misery so from this quote we will be starting our lesson of today it is the lesson is the morphology of flowering plants so here i will be familiarizing with three important common plants which is available in house easily you can identify the top plant are you able to identify the pink colored heart shaped leaves it is yes it, it is syngonium plant it is the syngonium plant syngonium and just below that you can see the another important you can see the venation and identify the plant try to identify if the venation is reticulate venation is reticulate the plant belong to dicots okay so the this plant the name of this plant you can are you able to see the color of the berry it is red in color it is blood red in color that's why it is called a blood berry or this is also known as pigeon berry or baby pepper so this scientific name is revenia humilis revenia humilis this is the blood berry or pigeon berry is a dicot plant and you can see the different aspect of the parts of the flow, uh, plant with roots stem leaves its venation its technical terms like nodes and internodes and auxiliary buds and flower buds with inflorescence with bloomed flowers you can see the senior flower and junior flower how they arranged in the racemous pattern of inflorescence and here you can see another important plant this is called spider ivy or spider plant okay the scientific name is chlorophytum comosum chlorophytum comosum it's a familiar plant in all the houses you can see even in park also you can see that propagating stolons these are the stems parallelly running stems these are called runners or stolons which helps in their vegetative propagation you can see the plantlets arranged in the form of flowers not flowers these are small baby plants so from this nodal region roots will be coming that is the roots other than the main root that is called adventitious roots will be coming in touch with the ground it will become a new plant so it is a mode of vegetative propagation the spider ivy is mainly meant for vegetative propagation here it is having the sexual mode of reproduction with flowers and we will study the detailed structure you can come forward and see the different aspect of the plant morphology thank you for watching have a wonderful day